Hey there everybody, Gideon's Tactical here doing a, another quick review for you. This is um, of the Warthog uh, made by K-Bar uh, Tanto uh, designed knife. I haven't seen too many reviews for this particular um, blade design. So let's look at it here really quick. Um, right out of the box, uh, we, we got a 3 inch blade. Um, very, very sharp, 15 degree hollow point, uh, ho hollow um, grind, so very, very sharp, great piercing tip. I mean, that is going to really cut something really, really, really well out of the box. Very, very sharp knife. Um, you got a 0 0.112 um, on the thickness of the blade. So, I mean, this is very, uh, you know, tactical piercer, you know, type of knife. Um, and if you like Tantos, this is a great budget Tanto. Uh, you really can't get any lower for this for good quality knife. For the price, you're getting a good knife, which is about 20 bucks. You're going to spend probably about 20 bucks on this knife, and you're going to get it for uh, a great knife for that price. Um, you got a thumb stud for deployment, uh, and you know it, it deploys rather well. Um, this one's brand new, so you definitely got to get some wrist flick in there, but you can hear it uh, lock up. And uh, it's made in China out of 13 CR13 uh, stainless steel, which has a Rockwell hardness of 54 to 56, um, which means that it's a budget steel. It's going to be less quality than OS8 or Chinese made 8 CR13 MOV, which most other pocket knives are made out of if they're made in China. Um, this, uh, those have a 56 to 58 Rockwell hardness. This has 54 to 56. So this just means it's softer and you're going to have to resharpen it sooner than you would some of the other more, a little bit more expensive blades, but you're getting, buying a cheap knife here. Um, so it, on the other side, it says stamped in, uh, it's printed on China. This side says K-Bar. Torque screw right there. Really nice liner lock. Very, very strong. This is, for the price, a very strong liner lock. Almost up there with a rat. Um, Ontario Rat or Util Attack or something like that. Very uh, um, a Spider Co. Tenacious, very strong liner lock, and I really like it a lot. Easy to to disengage and close, um, and when you flick it out, you know you can definitely hear it lock and it engages every time. Pocket clip is a very strong steel pocket clip. Three screws, um, no options to carry it on left, right, or tip up, tip down, or anything like that. It's just one way, but very strong. Not going to break on you or anything like that. Um, and I really like that feature about it. Um, G10 handles, which is uh, actually really surprising for the price that you're paying, but G10 handles, which gives you really good grip and texture. Um, the, the, the handle itself is really thick and really beefy. Um, you know, it doesn't really feel all that comfortable in your hand. You've got to basically put like your middle finger in this choil and then your, your other fingers kind of up here and then your thumbs grabbing here. Um, and this has a smaller thumb ramp and less jimping than the normal uh, kind of like buoy swept blade that you also can get. So I actually like the other design. I'm a pretty big fan of Tantos, but um, I like the other design better than this Tanto design for the Warthog. I prefer the swept. The the um, jimping is a little bit better, and you I feel like you can kind of hold it a little bit better here, whereas with this one, it feels more comfortable when you hold it here and just kind of goofy. It feels goofy in your hand a little bit. But um, you got some jimping along here as well, so if you are holding it in a tactical you know, tactical deployment. Um, this actually feels better. This feels pretty good in your hand if you're holding this, you know, for tactical deployment like that. Um, let's see here. Like I said, three inch blade, uh, a closed w uh, length of 4.44, overall seven and a half inches. Um, and uh, the weight is right about like three and a half to uh, three and a half ounces. Um, so not bad. Um, philosophy of use, PO to, uh, POU for this. Um, I would say this is a, again, a, I mean, this is like 20 bucks ish. And you can, if you buy it, some websites, if you get like free shipping, you can get it for even a little less. Um, so for 20 bucks, uh, I would definitely take it over m like a Gerber um, Evo Junior or Evo um, or some of those like 20, $25 Gerber knives. This is definitely a better um, product, in my opinion. Um, and this is just kind of like a, a beater pocket knife. You know, if you're on the job site and you just like having a pocket knife and not just a straight box cutter, um, great little knife to have because you can beat the crap out of it strong enough to, to handle the use that you're going to give it. Um, but if you break it or lose it, it comes out of your pocket, it was like, what, between 15 and 20 bucks, who cares? Um, you know, throw it in your uh, glove box of your car, um, throw it in your pack, you know, it's just kind of like a bug out bag, you know, you don't want to really worry about it, but you know, you need something to get the job done. Um, you know, in your cooking supply uh, bag for camping, you know, those type of things. I, I wouldn't carry it as an everyday EDC blade. It's just a little too goofy and ha a little too thick for me for for the price. Um, not a bad EDC blade, but there's but you know for cough up you know five to ten dollars more and you'll get a lot better blade for everyday use. 
Um, so that's my kind of philosophy of use. Hopefully this helps you guys out a little bit. Again, this is the K-Bar Warthog Tanto Blade. Um, so thanks for watching. Stay equipped, stay prepared, see you out there.